recording live from Twitch TV, and we are back. So, yesterday we started writing to our socket. We're just going to continue that on today. So, let's hop to it. So, what I want to do today is I kind of want to get through all the writing and then create a um, like a little bit of a, a program between, you know, like a playground for this to run against our kind of an integration test against uh, our elixir just to see that things are are coming across and that we are understanding that what's being written um, is making sense. So let's continue here. I think we did int already. We got signed int, so I should write unsigned int to socket, to connect the socket. Connect to socket. Actually, yes, socket. Socket stream. Write unsigned int. A big old giant number. Uh, put write and see here. Write full bytes, right? This is a not flash of Python. Right float, right double, right int eight, right int sixteen, right u int sixteen. Let's go with that. I think that's what we did for the other one. We did sixteen. Yeah, right u int sixteen. Sixteen, and that should be when I know eight through two. And we'll verify that. So ready? Verify. And let's go over to our stream here. Write unsigned int if connected. Output write uh, u int sixteen value. That'll should have that happen. And you know what we didn't do? Let's make it fail first. And oh, get this going. So I should write float to connected connected socket. And then Connect to the socket, socket stream, write float. So that passed, so output, write float, 843.935, verify. Make sure that fails. And it does. Where's our right foot? There it is. If connected, output right uh, float value, and that should get pass. And continue on. Should write double to connected socket. Connect to socket. Socket stream, right, double, a big old nasty number, and socket stream, right, double, oops, output. That verify. I wonder why I keep doing that already. And write double doesn't seem to exist. So you can write float. Oh, that's my huh, It seems to be okay, so we're gonna run it. It's building. 
if connected, output right double. All right, we got a lot happen here. We got our reads happening. We're going to skip write bytes for now. Write UTF. Maybe we'll do write UTF bytes. This doesn't really make sense, really. All right, multi byte. We're going to skip that. Just because I don't. I mean, we can write it later. But I'm not really going to use it for this app. So it's just part of the interface. And sometimes that just happens. So what we do is we're just going to throw. Um, is not implemented out of laziness in this one. It's not implemented. Right UTF. We can do right UTF bytes. We'll skip this one. Maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll need it later. Maybe we won't. But we'll deal with that when we when we get there. And so we'll do the right UTF bytes. Let's look at the um, right here. If there's any. Thing we can leverage is right bytes. Right full bytes. What's this? Nope. I thought there was actually surprisingly, I thought there was like a right string. Right input. Right string. There happens to be a right string. <laughs> okay. So, what we'll do, that's why I'm kind of not excited about this, but well. should write UTF bytes to connected socket. And we'll do connect socket, socket stream write UTF bytes. Bar as cat output right string to bar as cat that verify that'll fail if connected output right string value there we have it. All right, we are passing. Everything's looking swell. And what we'll need to do is I'm going to create like a a small little helper. We've got our tools, right? Maybe we'll integrate this with our test suite. Let me think through this a little bit. Let's sort of just test it out first. And we can integrate it with our test suite later. So we're just going to make directory. We'll call this uh, socket playground. And hack. so we're going to build a build.hxml. CPP, and we'll call this to ouch. Uh, main is main. Is it lib? No. I need to look that up. Let's see here. Hack. Build that's probably be good enough. What we need is hacks library. Is that there should be a path. Path. CP. CP be this. All right. 
and then let's just go attach. Pi and hacks package. It's main. Public static function main trace hello world next build looks like it's gonna build and we're gonna do ouch main and it works. So what we're gonna do to make this simpler is we're gonna just drag this into our editor. Now we got our editor to play with this. Okay, so what we need to do is I'm gonna create a socket. This is gonna be our ooh, what we need to do is we need to create our next class. CPP TCP socket. Yeah, I guess we already built it. Oh, nice. Uh, wow, that's great. So we're going to do CPP TCP socket. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say new main. I'll keep this here. Ready to test. Okay, public new. And our socket, so we're going to do a new CPP TCP socket. And then our stream, okay, stream is going to be our CPP socket input output stream. Stream equals new CPP socket input output stream. And actually, you know what? I bet you this won't build. Yeah, so we need to. Sources. Hmm. That's a bummer. So Looks like that's going to be tricky. So, we're going to ditch this tool then. Socket playground. We're going to just build it into. Oh, really? Nice. Um, we're just going to build this straight into our test suite. So, I guess I'll just create a. Package, we'll just call this integration. Thinking through this a little bit. We'll go uh, uh, hackslib from M unit create. Integration dot net dot socket CPP TCP socket CPP socket input output stream integration. Kind of a long name, but it's very specific to what we need. We don't want to mock anything. We don't want our new. We don't want this. And what we're going to do is put a big old thing that says if integration. And 
so this will need to be created if integration test exists. And so I want to make sure that, yeah, so I can't do that. I'll do it here. So this will just be an empty test for our suite, unless we run the integration flag. Okay, so that is exactly what we wanted. Uh, we don't want that before. So let's get this back. When? Before class, after class. Ooh. Well, that's really got screwy. Um, Repairs are needed. Okay, before class, after class. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create our socket, our socket, which is our TPP TCP socket. Private bar. We've got our stream. CPP socket output stream. For class, we're going to create our socket, CPP TCP socket. And our stream, we have CPP socket input output stream. Stream and init. Is there anything that we need to know in particular here? We got our connect function. So, actually, that's one thing that we need to do is here when we go for our connect is we need to set up a couple of flags and we'll do that live um, as we do our connection. We're going to figure out if we want to do set blocking and we know set fast send and stuff like that. We're going to kind of figure out what we want to do with that. And I wonder, we, could, we probably should do it when we send it in. Yeah, we should. So we probably don't want to set fast send, uh, and, but we do probably want to set blocking. I'm blocking socket. Well, bar operation made up by throwing a hacks error blocking value. So I think let's let's play. We're gonna just play. How about that? We just want to play. And so we're going to stream dot connect host name will be local host and then our port will be one three three seven test what we'll do is should send uh, Boolean. And so, kind of have to do a kind of manual operation in this context. So, stream, write Boolean. Zero. And we probably could do an after. Let's do an after. What is the I always have this generate and never think about what the method is. Is it also tear down? Oh no, that's not true. Maybe um, class down class after tear down. Okay. And I think what we can do, I think that'll be fine. And then after we, when we do our tear down, we can actually validate these things if we want. 
Um, maybe we don't. Let's get rid of it for now. So after class, we have to figure out our stream close, which we don't have tested. But that's okay. We don't even have it written. So I'm gonna run connect. Test should disconnect from socket. Should close socket. Okay. And what we're going to do we're going to do socket connect and then oops, we want stream socket stream and then we want to do connect socket <laughs> And then sockets dot socket stream close, and then we're going to do sockets close verify. Okay, so that's that. And so now we need to go to our implementation, make sure we close it. If connected, socket close. I mean, technically should run a different test for that. Those are two tests. Test should not close socket that is not connected. Socket stream, close this thing, verify zero times. And we have two tests for that. And they should both be passing, and we got all our branches covered. There we go. So, continuing on. All right, so now we have our socket stream. Our integration test. Okay, so we want to be able to connect on our setup, and what we should probably do is, oops, uh, stream dot subscribe to connected socket connected, and we're just gonna. If we go to our test, and we're going to add a thing here, which is integration. So now to run our integration test. And so it doesn't like this. Can't actually resolve that. That's fine. And then we'll cast this. Now, PPP, second pick up the stream. All 
Line 34. Oh. True and false. Okay, so that is failing, I think, because of this connect. Let's see. Okay, so that is. Let's see if our init. We probably need to inject our object creator in our error manager, and that's probably what's going on. And we're not. We didn't inject our socket either. Okay, so we got a few things that are a problem here. So stream our socket is equal to our socket. And then we will need our mock. Now we just go over here to our test and just sort of give us a little bit of a shortcut here. So I'll copy this. Actually, we'll copy most of this and take out what we don't need. It's easier. So we don't need that, we don't need that. And we already have that. Okay, and then we can grab us of this, take out what we don't need. Oops, so we're gonna put it here. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Is this running? Oops. Okay, that does that automatically. Subscriber. I think that will do what we need. So, stream object creator equals object creator. Stream error manager equals error manager. And let's see how this goes. All right, no fails. So, because right now we're going to be have to manually verify it until we get our read in, but I wanted to make sure we're on the right track here. IEX S mix. Okay, and we're going to set up our server socket TCP listen. Probably should put an equal, what do you mean? Uh, listen on 1337 and then client equals server pipe operator socket TCP accept. And so if we run our tests, we should actually have this connection happen. There we go. And so now, and this assertion happened, so everything's looking kind of good. We did get the right. I wonder if we can do client, um, so here, yeah, client socket that receive. Uh, socket stream receive. We got nil, nothing else. Okay. I wonder if it's because this is closed. So I wonder if we can do client, say here, yeah, client socket stream. Send some numbers. Bad output port. So it looks like it's still open. Or still, it's closed, sorry. And so what we need to do, I wonder if we can talk to the socket here. Socket. And we need to... We'll do is we'll make this public. 
public default null. Okay. Socket dot socket dot set blocking true. And default is false. A blocking socket is a default. Okay, so let's see what happens. There is no difference, so if we false this, hmm. So what happens if we now because the program will exit? So we can do sys sleep for five seconds. See if that will actually work. <laughs> Getting nil and this seems like it should throw blocked. Let's go back to our integration test. So we're just gonna cut that out. Connection is definitely happening. I wonder, let's try that. Let's just play with this a little bit. So we're going to say socket dot right. Socket, socket. Right. Hello world. See if we can just get anything here. So let's accept. And receive. Okay, so it's just the right Boolean that seems to be an issue just writing nil. There we go. I'm curious to see if this has to do with the order. So we got hello world, nil, nil either way. So let's skip that task for now. You know that is working. This test should write unsigned byte to socket string write unsigned byte oh, that's not gonna work 100 so let's listen it's kind of fun playing with our tests this way I'm having fun with it Save error add file number. Hmm. So another kind of weird thing is we're allocating bytes. And I wonder if this has something to do with that. And so we're going to uh, 
just write float. See if we can get that to work. I don't think we're actually accepting. Okay. And so, so we're not receiving that. Hmm. Really concerned here. So, socket, we're just going to write straight to the socket again. We're going to go to the output. Write some bytes. I think there's like write. Just do a write string. Hello world. So that is working. So write. I wonder if this if this works. Right. Even though it says it's. Oh, that's right. Bytes. Um, is it right? Byte. Kind of curious to see if it just throws an exception. This is how we find out. Interesting. So it did write the byte. <laughs> That's cool. Um, we'll fix this, but what's up with this? What's up with this? So let's allocate four bytes. And what I want to do is we can set Thirty-two. That's eight, right? No. Yeah. Right. Bytes. I wonder if we need to flush it or something. to work. So is it this? Set one. What? That is crazy.
Huh. I figure out why that's not working, but this is working. So what is the problem here? If connected, bytes allocate one, bytes set that value. This is where we are here. If value, it's going to be true. Set this to one. Trace value. That's crazy weird. Erlang binary to term. Binary to term. Options safe. Probably what I want to deal with. But let's figure out why. So I did this print this out. So print out true. Oh, so I didn't actually write to Boolean. Yes, I did. Stream write Boolean. Are we not connected? Trace connected. False, not connected. That is a thing. Let's run it one more time. Not connected. Interesting. All right. Really? What's going on here? Integration test right here. False, false. Am I not calling connect on the integration test? Definitely calling connect. Connecting connection. So it looks like the subscriber is failing. Okay, so let's. I wonder if this is asserting fail. It would. Ah, because we're going to put it there. There we go. There's our integration test passing. Okay. Well, passing. Uh, so, where is our stock input output stream 98?
98. There we go. Cut that as up as well. Okay, that was weird. Okay. And then get our value. There we go. Binary to term is not picking it up. Value is binary. That's true. I wonder if we need to bit size. So we do value Erlang dot byte size. Three bytes. So okay, that's cool. Check process code for time. Yeah. So anything here that's just like binary operations. I wonder if we can do Elixir binary. Binary operations. Bitwise. No, that's a macro. Hmm. Access. Oh, okay, so it is a binary, it has bytes, but if we convert to a term, it's weird. Okay, so let's listen again. Now that we're making progress into this. Let's see, so I guess it's actually three in three distinct values. I'm not sure why. Oh, because we're writing this. Okay, so we need to get rid of that. Okay, except so now we only get two, should be zero, one. But we need to be able to just read we just read one. And then one again. Aha. And that's what should be nail. Perfect. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to define in our interface how many bytes to read. So what we could do is we can do stream I say socket. Uh, let's do that before public function uh, setup void. We're going to do socket socket output. I think it was a right, right null. So we're going to get a null in between every set of instructions. Actually, we'll do the right string. Why not? We'll say no. Right. In the passage. Hmm. Pass it a null. We give it four dashes and null. So let's see how this looks on the server side. So we'll know which 
which test is which, because the test will execute in any random order. So if we do receive, 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 one. So null is never sent, which is fine. Um, I can just do this now. And then what we'll need to do, we'll call this Has something. This is a little janky, but it's going to work. <laughs> and we need to make this string. Okay. So we're going to do. Oops. First thing we're going to do is we're going to receive one hmm. so we need to do something better here we're going to say I'll put right and eight don't need to do this anymore. So now if we receive Expected. Let's try this. Okay. Let's see if we receive everything. What it looks like. A bunch of bytes. And if we do value Erlang binary to term, doesn't really work. Okay. Hmm. So that's not going to work. This is four. Uh, except ah, bumped it again. Kind of an interesting little playground here, trying to understand how this is. Slash v. So what is the deal with right ants? to be the right thing. I wonder if we can get away with just right byte to 
try to figure out why that's a thing. So I'm just going to do write byte. Playing around, having fun. Trying to understand how this is receiving things. So let's receive one slash v. Hmm, I don't like this. Why? Why it is dead set on saying it probably because we're mixing no it shouldn't matter I wonder let's try this stream write boolean true okay, so the first thing we should get is a boolean One slash V. And so I forgot it was to now. R1 slash V. I'm going to take that off. Save slash V. I don't, this is really not that great. So we're gonna do we're gonna write bytes. Write bytes. Our bytes. And singles bytes alloc um, for no one. Uh, we need more yeah, it's a byte. Okay, so bytes set at position 0, 11. Right. Bytes. Might be a snag here. There's our 1 slash V. So what is the problem here? If we allocate, say we allocate eight. And we're gonna receive one and eight, okay. So we're gonna cut this. Oops. Test run fast. So we're going to save eight and then one. So that is a thing. But I was only writing one byte. That's what I don't like. B. So let's try four. I'll get four bytes. Hmm. 
So binary to integer. Binary to integer. maybe play around with this because I want to know why list to binary so do list so list okay list to So it's definitely there, binary. So then Erlang binary to integer value. Or then. That's weird. Integer to binary, that's one thing. So, what if we do Erlang integer to binary 11? That converted to a string. So, we need to do term to binary. System, let's see here. Is number. Yeah. So we do, yeah, integer to binary. That's not going to work. All right, we have to think about this because I'm running out of time. So uh, we got the socket reading, connecting, writing, did some debugging there, found some issues. So let's, uh, let's close her out for the day. So let's go here, get the status. And we're going to keep the um, the integration test Uh, actually, no, we're going to do We're going to get checkout test. Check so we're going to keep that pristine. And then we're going to add our integration. Get add test integration. Get commit. And added more right. Socket, socket, and added integration test. There we go. Git, push origin master, date, git, tag, 
Alright, so we got our pushed up. You can review the code. I'll figure out why I can't get this binary thing to switch over to actual math. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.